Hey, what's up guys? Tony here, and you're watching some of my V8 Supercar Mastery Series. And this is week three at Watkins Glen, and this is the classic configuration. So there's no boot, and there's no bus stop. So it is a high speed circuit for sure. And I've only raced it one other time, and I think it was like two seasons ago for GT3 uh, in the BMW. And I actually did really well with that car, but this video is going to end up being a short video because I really only have one problem with this track and it is the carousel. Like for whatever reason I just cannot get through that thing fast. Like you know I just I don't have the right line, I don't have the right throttle control and I've tried a bunch of different things in practice and it is uh, it is probably I, I guarantee it if I were to figure out how to, to take that I could probably take maybe like a half second on average off of uh, my lap times and my lap times aren't even that good because the guys the, the fast guys are running in the 107s probably getting into the 106s with a draft I on the other hand my fastest lap times have been like 108.7s 108.8s hit a couple eight 108.9s but usually I'm sitting in the mid to low 109s and the problem that I've been having throughout this entire season, which has been a reoccurring theme, is my uh, inconsistency. So one lap I might run a 108.8, and the very next lap I'm running a 109.9, and the very next lap I'm running a 110.1, and then I get it all together, and then I'm running a 109.3, and then a 109.2, and then a 109.8. So it's all over the place. My, my lap times are rather inconsistent. So. Those are the things that, I, that I'm going to be continuing to work on. I've already raced twice this week. I raced Thursday and Friday, so I'm recording this on Friday after my race. I had two great races, and it sucks to have to choose one of those two races so far to do a video on. Hopefully, I can get that video out Sunday. Um, so, it'll be like iRacing video upload overload. <laughs> but the other things I need to work on, at least for this track, are my braking points. I'm, I'm having a hard time with some of these areas. Uh, the back end of the track, I don't remember, I don't off the top of my head, I don't know what turn it is, but um, sometimes the car likes to go wide when I don't want it to go wide, and so I'm a little timid in some spots. But other than that, I feel pretty solid overall. I feel, you know, the two races I had were really good races. I, I had really good showing, especially my first race with the V8 America series. That one I, I, I did really well, and then um, I had a really good race tonight as well. So I'll talk about the races more during the race video, uh, but this one's just basically saying that, you know, uh, I'm, I'm having a hard time with the carousel, and that's pretty much it. Um, other than that, I feel like I've got a pretty solid setup for the car. Um, I'm not going to refer to the Yokoyama baseline setup anymore because I keep changing it, you know, little by little, and so each track it gets morphed and changed into something else. So it is entirely um, a basically its own setup now <laughs> it's really stable uh, so that's why I keep using it because every time I go to Mitch's his uh, qualify setups he's posting they're really at least for me they're really unstable and I have a hard time controlling them and so for whatever he did for that first Okoyama setup it, it works really good for me so next week's track is Road America and I actually might use the the Okoyama setup as, as again as my baseline going back to that uh, and seeing where it is and, and sort of what problems I have there but that's next week. So, anyways, guys, I really appreciate all the support. I appreciate all the views. I'm appreciating all the comments. And, and so I look forward to them uh, in this video and for the race. And the race is the race is gonna be a good video. I, I'm really <laughs> I'm really proud of the, the finish that I had, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So, anyways, guys, as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I shall talk to you guys later.